Diligence seeks to know. Being like a good shepherd who diligently seeks to know the state of his flock goes along with intervening in care. Knowing the state of a person we are caring for is worth the effort to the person receiving care and to those of us giving care. The good and necessary steps taken to know a person's presented state and what their habitual life practices are goes for the good care intervention. In considering our wise Lord Jesus practices, which we are to know and imitate, is to be our regular life practice. It is for our rejoicing to submit to our Lord's life-promoting intervention ways, which is the only way to diligently intervene with the Lord's intervention methods that establish and maintain wellness. Proverbs 27, 23, Be thou diligent to know the state of thy flocks, and look well to thy herds. Proverbs 10, 4, He becometh poor that dealeth with a slack hand, but the hand of the diligent maketh rich. Proverbs 12, 24, and 27. The hand of the diligent shall bear rule, but the slothful shall be under tribute. The slothful man roasteth not that which he took in hunting, but the substance of a diligent man is precious. Proverbs 19, 21. There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord that shall stand. Job 22.10 But he knoweth the way that I take. When he hath tried me, I shall come forth as gold. My foot hath held his steps. His way have I kept and not declined. Neither have I gone back from the commandment of his lips. I have esteemed the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. But he is in one mind, and who can turn him? And what his soul desireth, even that he doeth. For he performeth the thing that is appointed for me, and many such things are with him. Asking and answering questions support caring. Jesus questioned and listened attentively, giving his disciples a wise understanding and attentive ear for their concerns. At a time when Jesus sensed that the disciples were having a poor disposition towards one another, he gave them opportunity for growth by considering and giving thought to their ways, by listening and questioning them. In order to benefit his disciples, the Lord Jesus would question them concerning their interaction with one another and would counsel them based on what he heard from them to keep them growing and prepared for traveling on the right path. Jesus, being a caring intervener, encouraged communication and listened attentively to those he was leading to intervene with his care. To be a good intervener is to be ready to take appropriate action as indicated by the person demonstrating a need. Mark 9:33 through 35. He came to Capernaum, and being in the house, he asked them, What was it that she disputed among yourselves by the way? But they held their peace, for by the way they had disputed among themselves who should be the greatest. And he sat down and called the twelve, and saith unto them, 
If any man desire to be first, the same shall be last of all and servant of all. Mark 10, 35. And James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came unto him, saying, Master, we would that thou shouldest do for us whatsoever we should desire. And he said unto them, What would ye that I should do unto you? They said unto him, Grant unto us that we may sit one on thy right hand and the other on thy left hand in thy glory. But Jesus said unto them, Ye know not what ye ask. Can ye drink of the cup that I drink of? And be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? And they said unto him, We can. And Jesus said unto them, Ye shall indeed drink of the cup that I drink of, and with the baptism that I am baptized withal shall ye be baptized. But to sit on my right hand and on my left hand is not mine to give, but it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared. And when the ten heard it, they began to be much displeased with James and John. But Jesus called them to him and saith unto them, Ye know that they which are accounted to rule over the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and their great ones exercise authority upon them. But so shall it not be among you, but whosoever will be great among you shall be your minister. The questions Jesus asked his disciples also gave them recognition of the Lord Jesus being sent from the Father and most important of their relationship with him. The most important thing for us to capture, no matter what others say about the Lord Jesus, our own relationship with the Lord Jesus for the intervention we need is that which matters the most in our lives. That Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, who intervening for us became the Son of Man, and that Jesus is the Lord of our life. Jesus expects us to live our life, to say by our methods of intervening in our world, who Jesus is, just as the Lord Jesus has taught us, our care of others in need is caring for him. It is to me a delightful encouragement to look upon others as being the Lord Jesus. Seeing Jesus as the one I am reaching out to during all of my care intervention opportunities has me looking forward to blessing anyone. Luke 9, 18 and 20. And it came to pass, as they were alone praying, his disciples were with him. And he asked them, saying, Whom say the people that I am? He said unto them, But whom say ye? that I am. Peter answering said, the Christ of God. Matthew twenty five forty, And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, ye have done it unto me.